bought this from uh, Huffman Amps on the internet. I'll put a, a link in the um, description of this video. What it is, it's just a, a socket uh, with pin 8 uh, from this disconnected. It runs through this cable right here and then comes back through and then connects back to pin 8 over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this old radio. Uh, I have a 6V62. Plug in the tube and then plug in the uh, plug this into the, to the socket. <clears throat> and then use my little gadget here and that plugs in right here. So if, if I were using a push-pull amplifier, I'd have one tube in here and the other tube here. I set this to 50 milliamps and meter is on and then select this channel right here. Okay, now the radio's warmed up. I'm going to turn on the, take it off of standby. So you can see that it's uh, th about 39 uh, milliamps. Now if I switch it over to the other channel, you'll notice that the radio still works. That's because when I switch over to this side, these two are then shorted out, completing the circuit for the tube. So you can switch back and forth between different tubes. Now if I turn off the meter, nothing happens. Radio's off. I'll put it over to 100 milliamps. And that doubles the, uh, the scale of the meter. Okay, a digital meter plugs into this socket and if I turn off the meter you'll see that the digital meter displays uh, accurate reading 38.85 this switch has no effect on it if I switch over to the other one nothing because there's nothing connected to this uh, channel Turn on the meter. You're not going to get an accurate reading on the digital uh, digital multimeter unless you unplug this. Well, you will get a uh, an accurate reading on the analog meter, but not on the digital. Turn off the meter, the analog meter, and you get an accurate reading. Thank you.